This is dead. It might snap off. Let's see what we got. A good inch thick, maybe a little more. Try down on that little tooth. It really bites. That's some seasoned, heavy-duty stuff there. It's, it's hard and solid. See if there's any edge damage. Not a bit. Right there. Hey.
bleed's five thirty seconds thick, so it's slicey enough to mess around with some feathers. At the time I'm making this video, there is one of these hunter-gatherers left where I bought it. It's from one of uh, William Collins' dealers, Ridge Runner Blades, in North Carolina. And it didn't come with a sheath. I enjoy making the knife sheath how I want it, and it kind of personalizes it a little bit more. Kind of makes it your own. So, that's what I think, at least. I don't know, but there is one more of these hunter-gatherers over there at Ridge Runner Blades. And I believe you can pre-order one if you go over to Great Northern Knives. You can pre-order a lot of uh, William Collins' knives there. Kind of customize it, make it the way you want. you got to wait just a little bit. Um, usually around 120 days is what it says on the website. But I tell you, it's well worth it for any blade you would buy from him. I don't know, normally I'd be using a smaller knife for this, but just for the sake of the video, uh, what the heck, maybe this is all I had, was this blade here. I'm not going to get too much of a fire going because it's hot out. Maybe it'll keep the bugs away for a minute though. Really, really nice little pack machete. Something to pack away. It weighs around 14 ounces. With the sheath I made, a little over a pound total. Well worth throwing in your pack for if you get in a jam and some thick stuff. Especially this time of year down around Tennessee, East Coast. Uh, it's hot. I don't need to have a huge log fire, you know. This would do just well for doing a little processing also. If I don't have a tomahawk, axe, something on there with me. Test this bad boy out on. I'll show you what I'm talking about back getting caught up in the thicket. Here we go.
slow going. But I'd be happy to have this. Definitely happy to have this if I was out there. Make a big difference trying to get through that stuff. So I got my regular vertical belt loop, then I stitched in the belt loop to be able to carry cross draw style if I wanted. Or a lot of times I put a lace up through here over my shoulder and just carry a blade like this or like this. But I'm happy with the sheath. Some heavy duty 10 ounce leather. I whip stitched the outside, then ran a saddle stitch up through right behind it. And then I double saddle stitched the inside of the well. Nice little box stitch back here. Put a little bit of an antler, a little piece of antler back here, just something to grip, grab a hold of. Throw two fingers down in here. Give it a little whip with your wrist. I find that helps getting through brush. It's all on the wrist. But, sweet blade. Figured I'd take it out and show you all what it's made of. Very nice blade. Perfect little pack machete. Overall, it's about 13 inches. The actual cutting edge is 6 inches. Got your scandy grind. Got your flat grind right here. A little bit of a belly. You could probably skin some game with it. Skin yourself a buffalo with this thing if you really needed to. It's got a nice long handle for different grips. You got back here, it turns into a longer blade, basically. You got your middle grip, more uh, of holding it up like a knife. Just like a bigger knife, six inch blade. Choke up right here as well. And then you can get up in there a little bit more if you really want. A lot of people don't. It's all on how you hold it. But, awesome blade. Nitro V, stainless steel. Very happy with it. Made in the USA by William Collins. Master. This is the third or fourth knife I've purchased of his. And I've been happy very satisfied with every single one very very happy every little part of this blade has a purpose well thought out knives it's got a nice selection you can go to he has different dealers but you can go to wcknives.com and he's got his authorized dealers over there. You can go check out his different blades. Thank you, William. Awesome knife. Be a good one to throw in my pack. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I appreciate you all watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.